Hello everyone, this is Manish and in this video, I'm going to discuss about what exactly is Windows Update for Business. So there are four topics what I'm going to cover. What is the meaning of Windows Update for Business policies? Second is prerequisites of Windows Update for Business. Third is why do we need to adopt the Windows Update for Business? And finally, the benefits of Windows Update for Business policies. So let's begin. Windows Update for Business, what, what exactly it is, it is? It's a cloud-based solution to deploy the updates directly from the windows so it means here no on-premise infrastructure is included and everything is coming from the directly through the cloud where your internet is used secondly what kind of updates windows update for business offers so four kind of updates are there quality updates you understand that quality updates are the cumulative updates which are released every month on second tuesday second is feature update feature update is the next version of os uh, with includes the new features operating system features so it releases once or twice every year uh, based upon the windows 10 or windows 11 edition and third is driver updates and finally the other microsoft product updates for example apart from windows update any other microsoft related product the updates that that can also be deployed through the windows update for business policy windows update for business policy we need to understand that it is not valid for the for the home edition it is only valid for enterprise professional and education version so it's a it's not a consumer based uh, windows 10 or windows 11 edition it's only meant for the business editions of windows 10 and 11 and windows update for policies it can be implemented either through intune or group policy so when i'm talking about windows update for business policies what exactly the policy means overall deploying the patches on your home pc how it comes every tuesday the patches are coming right so based upon the the criteria at the back end you get the patches within next one or two three days right so we can control that kind of behavior through windows update for business policies for example we can offer the update only after five days for example it is releasing on second of tuesday on 12th of some specific date we want to delay the offering of the update for five days so it means only on 17th the update will come it will be offered to the device and we can further control it it is only offered but it is not forcing user to install then we can specify two days of deadline so what will happen after five days update is offered it will wait for the user to execute that but if user is not doing anything after two days deadline will occur and it will install the update once the installation is done we don't want to force the reboot so we can control that kind of behavior through grace period so grace period we can give one or two days so that a continuous pop-up with every couple of hours users will seeing the pop-up which will be showing that your device will be will be rebooted in next two days next one day next eight hours four hours or something like this you will be keep on getting the toast notifications and pop-up on near the taskbar right hand side of your window so that is pretty much very a good user experience so only thing is that every the each and every update is only coming from the windows update but your user experience is going to change by applying this windows update for business policies <coughs> let's understand the prerequisites of windows update for business so very first thing is your device should be azure ready join or i can say hybrid azure ready join if your device is part of your on-premise infrastructure so only thing is you need to make sure that it should be joined to the azure in any form device should be enrolled to intune as well because intune is something which is controlling the overall behavior of the windows Update for business policies even though you can deploy the windows Update for business policies through intune or group policy but it should be enrolled to intune and this point i have already covered previously that it is only supported for windows 10 enterprise professional and education it is not valid for your home edition and there is a specific license requirement also just uh, enrolling your device to into or hybrid azure ready join or azure ready join is not going to help you so you need to have a specific license uh, those licenses are already covered with windows 10 and windows 11 enterprise e3 or e5 windows 10 e11 10, 11, education a3 or a5 windows virtual desktop access e3 or e5 and finally microsoft 365 business premium so this license is covered is part of all these four licenses and we need to enable the diagnostic data so i mean to say the telemetry should be enabled for the device for a better control of that what updates are 
what kind of update is there on your device to get the hardware information of your device that software information so it's better to have the telemetry uh, enabled so it gives a new kind of exposure to get the reporting part so it's mainly requir uh, required for the reporting and finally you need to make sure that the URLs should be whitelisted so there is a URL like I have mentioned below so you can go go and check the URL in the description below I will be providing that URL we need to make sure that the Microsoft URLs are whitelisted so if you are not able to access those URLs your Windows Update for Business Policy is not going to work okay so the important question is why do we need to adopt the Windows Update for Business Policies what are the it is a modern way of deploying the update so why everyone is talking a lot about Windows Update for Business the one thing is about the better compliance I mean to say that Windows Update for Business Policies does not give you option to select any update is it a good or bad I would say it's a good option because nowadays in current era without having Intune through WSUS or SCCM, you have an option to select the updates. So it looks like a very good thing of selecting the updates, but the problem is there are high likely chances that you are missing a lot of updates. For example, in your environment, .NET framework has a problem with few applications. So you, you might be missing the update. So you might be thinking that your devices are, com are compliant, but the most important updates you are missing, right? So Intune doesn't allow to select any update. So it's a good thing in a long run even though in a, in a shorter run you might be facing the issue that the devices are having problem but that's the vendor problem you need to contact the vendors to get to provide the updated version of the applications Intune is like your no, normal getting the updates using Windows Update for Business Policy is like a normal PC where you don't have any choice it's a no, it's kind of a normal behavior of your mobile phone that you are getting the updates you are not choosing any update right so it, all the updates are forced to your device so Intune will make sure that your device is fully compliant without missing any update. Second thing is it requires very minimal configuration. So what I mean to say is Windows Update for Business is not a complex process. So you'd have to do a minimal uh, configuration. The initial, once the initial setup is done, you have to create the multiple rings. So what do, what do I mean by the rings? Rings means you can deploy the updates to the device in a uh, phase manner, means in multiple waves. For example, for 10 devices, if you have a small setup, 10 devices for the first phase, then next 20 devices for next phase, then 50, then 100, something like this. I will be explaining you in the benefit section of Windows Update for Business. No complexity. So as it is very easy to uh, configure Windows Update for Business, so there is no complexity. Even there is no requirement for device to join to the domain. So you are not solely relying on your on-premises infrastructure. Yes, even though if you have an on-premise infrastructure, you can go with the hybrid approach where the Intune enrollment and Windows Update, for, Windows Update for Business Policy is still going to work, but that's not the requirement. You can simply go with the cloud-only approach. And finally, the less overhead. If you have, don't have any on-premise infrastructure, if you don't have any WSU servers to manage, for Intune doesn't require WSU server, right? So it, it is like a benefit that it, it is a, there is a less overhead, less troubleshooting. So the work will be pretty much very simple once everything is in place and of course the most important point is cost saving solution to service the windows because you are updating the windows quality updates feature updates and other updates and uh, there is a less cost involved because of less troubleshooting less maintaining the servers less the cost of the the servers obviously you have to pay for the license cost for the intune but overall at, at long run it makes sense to go with the windows Update for business policies Let's talk about the benefits. So as I told you previously that we can create the multiple rings. So this is one of the example by the Microsoft that, that how you can create the multiple rings. For example, uh, I have given example of five uh, rings. So first ring, we want to defer. We want to make the updates available as soon as possible. So for insiders, 1% of your, in, in your organization, there should be 1% of device where you need to target the insider build. Next 2.5% you should be targeting the to the first adopters, 11.5% to the early adopters, then remaining 35% to broad wave 1 and 50% to broad wave 2. So what I mean to say is that you have to go in a phase manner, for example, to provide the update, to defer the update in 0 days, for second ring, 2 days, third ring, 3 days, fourth ring, maybe 5 days and 
file rank maybe 7 or 9 days based on your requirement you can simply go and have a granular level of control that when you wanted to provide the update to the users you also have an option to pause the update for example during the first phase of insider or first adopter you face that the updates are causing issue so what you can do immediately you can pause the update ring for the remaining for the remaining rings you can also have an option for uninstalling the update for example an update has caused an issue and you wanted to roll back to the previous version right so you simply you can go in update ring there is an option where you can go and simply uh, uninstall the patch here i have logged on to the microsoft intune admin center so you can log in with using the endpoint.microsoft.com or intune.microsoft.com if i go to devices windows and update rings for windows 10 so here i can see i have created multiple rings so just for an example if i go to windows 10 properties this is how the update ring setting looks like so i can define the whether i would like to block the microsoft products or not windows drivers that deferral period that's the most important thing which i was talking about that delaying the update for the offering to the device and whether you want to upgrade to windows 10 to windows 11 or not this is the user experience that when you want to install the updates and when you go come over here there are the settings as well and here you can see the deadline that i have specified a deadline of two days for feature update for quality update two days and grace period of two days so these kind of behavior will give you a granular level of control that when the patches will be available when it is going to install and when the when it is going to reboot the device for the grace period thank you so much for watching the video we'll be signing off for now thank you